everybody. Praise be to God on this glorious day today, even though it's snowing. And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We are still playing as Roxas. And hopefully today things will get a bit more interesting. So, last time we kind of got a feel for Twilight Town, we recovered our lost Pop Rocks. And, uh, <laughs> we did some skateboarding, worked some odd jobs. We did not get to go to the beach. Hopefully that'll change today. Also, Naminé was actually spying on us, which is kind of weird. Uh, Naminé, I really like you, you're my favorite Kingdom Hearts girl, but, like, that was weird. We're meeting at the station, right? But, but I was trying to go this way, and... Oh, maybe it was talking about the tunnel. I don't know. Hey. Morning. Uh... Huh? Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. <laughs> you were spying on me in my sleep, weren't you? And you are... I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Olette dragged me along to go shopping. <laughs> and this is where things start getting really weird. Come with us? Um, uh, wait. Did you just see that... There's a cute girl who talked to me. <laughs> that never happened. Stalling. Very well then. We'll see you later, Roxas. Okay? Y yeah. Excluding Olette, of course. Did she go to that haunted mansion? <laughs> I love how there's just a haunted mansion in town. She's just standing there, menacingly. Oh, it doesn't even make us run through huh? all this area. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the Dusks again. Huh. These guys are weird. Let me go. They're like, you're not seeing Naminé. <laughs> she already has a boyfriend. <laughs> hey, chicken wuss. <laughs> I forgot about- okay, that is my new favorite insult, chicken wuss. Who's that? I don't know, but they've already crossed the line. <laughs> Vivi just Find runs. A weapon. Hey look! Someone just left a baseball bat for me again! <laughs> Fight the mysterious enemy. There were definitely three of them. Oh, oh, that's why. They're taking on the other two. But theirs aren't actually doing anything. Yeah, that's what Reversal does. I just go behind him. So once again, we can't actually win this fight. So you just take enough damage or do enough hits and go. Vivi, use your magic! Roxas, you really have to lay off the Pop Rocks. Huh? Use the keyblade. Huh. 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 Mamane, what are you doing standing on a building like that? <laughs> we remember this from the first game. We're doing Dive Into the Heart again, everybody. The Station of Serenity in Twilight Town. Well, this is definitely not in Twilight Town. I don't know what, what you guys are thinking, but... <laughs> this is like a church chapel. I love this, like, stained glass atmosphere. I love stained glass windows. They're great. All right, so this is kind of similar to the Dive in the Heart from the first game, where you get the free weapons, and you get to choose one, and depending on which one you choose, that will affect different things throughout the game. Unlike in the first one, you don't have to throw one away. You just choose one. So, when we chose the struggle bat, all that determined was which stat boost we would get, like a plus one stat boost for. This actually plays a much larger role. This determines the order in which you will learn abilities as you level up. Yeah, so that's pretty important. So I'll just say this. No matter what playthrough you're doing, you pick the shield. And here is why. 
if you pick the sword, you will learn some of the offensive abilities like earlier on and some of the defensive ones like really late. This means there's one really, really useful ability called Once More that you will not learn until you reach max level if you pick the sword. And that Once More is especially useful on critical mode. So you don't want that. The staff kind of makes you learn some of the uh, magic based abilities first. And most of those kind of suck. And on top of that, if you pick the staff, you will you will not learn the Lucky Strike ability until your max level. And you'll want Lucky Strike as early as possible, so that way you can get synthesis materials really early. So you want to pick the shield, you will learn Lucky Strike and once more a lot earlier. And there's really no downside to this. Like, pretty much all of the useful abilities you get in the game you will learn pretty early on, or at least decently early on, if you pick the shield. The shield is sturdy. The shield is like, this could block just about everything. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I believe that this only affects the ability order. It might affect, like, your overall stats as you level up as well, but if so, it's pretty, pretty insignificant. So, just always pick the shield. I've never seen anyone do a playthrough of this game, like a speed run or, like, a 100% playthrough where they did not pick the shield. And we power the Guardian. And now we get the Keen Blade. <laughs> That's creepy. So one kind of cool thing is if you want to kill Dusks. So these Dusks here in this first area, two combos will kill them, but after you unleash the combo finisher, it'll knock them far away. What you can do is... Two hit combo, two hit combo, full combo, and that'll just keep them stun locked and kill them as well. So I'll try to show you what I mean. So just hit him twice, then hit him twice again, and then hit him three times. And that way they don't scurry away. Uh oh. Thank goodness they drop HP orbs. Goodbye. And we get Aerial Recovery. So you'll notice that's a get bonus. There are many abilities in the game that you learn just through doing certain things, like defeating certain fights in worlds. So you get a lot of abilities without even leveling up at all, but there are certain abilities that you will only get through leveling up. And some of those are really useful. Roxas has gained the use of abilities, equip abilities from the main menu. After winning important battles, you level up, increasing various parameters and learning new attacks. You can also level up by gaining experience from defeating enemies. When you're having a tough time on enemies, level Roxas up before moving on. Well, that's easier said than done, because Roxas doesn't actually have a lot of enemies that he can grind on. <sighs> Treasure chest! Use the reaction command to open the chest. And the chest opening animation is a lot better, too. We get a potion! Uh, instead of having to, like, physically stop and be... It's just a... And like, you open it up really quickly. The items command has been added. Use the D-pad to select items and press X. You select the item to use and press X. Press L1 and X for a shortcut. This setting can be changed in the main menu. The door appears. And I'll say this. Oh, be careful. Beyond that door lies a completely different world. I'm already in a completely different world, but don't be afraid. Don't stop walking. From here on, when HP becomes zero, it is game over. Make sure to restore HP when HP gets low. Alright. Oh, uh, okay, a lot of stuff to do. What is auto-reload? Auto-reloading. When an item is consumed, this will automatically re-equip the same item. It will be re-equipped when an item is used at the end of battle. So this kind of, so how you, you might remember in Kingdom Hearts 1 where you could equip items like potions in your like items menu, and whenever you, you would say use a potion, you'd have to press the pause button again and then re-equip a new potion. In this, you can basically be like, I've got like six potions, I can only equip three, I'll set them to auto-reload so that way when I use one at the end of battle, a new potion for my stock will automatically get added to replace the old potion. So it's kind of nice. However, it will not automatically reload during battle, you have to wait till the battle is over. And using items in this is way, way easier than it is in the first game. In the first game, you had to use the 
you have control the D-pad menu, select the exact item and who you wanted to use it on. In this, you can set it to a shortcut, just like you could set magic spells from the first game to shortcuts. So that's really nice. So using items is actually very useful in this. Setting up auto reload. From customize, select the character to set the command with. Select an item, select auto reload on. You can use triangle to toggle that on. Abilities. When an ability is equipped, the character will power up. There are many types of abilities with many effects. Learn how to use abilities. Yes, learn how to use abilities. How to equip abilities. Abilities cost AP to equip and can be equipped until the AP gauge is full. From ability, select the character you would like to equip abilities for. Select an ability, select equip to equip the chosen ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's start with items. So right now we've got the kingdom key. So keyblades in this are really, really nice. Way better than they are in pretty much every other Kingdom Hearts game because in most Kingdom Hearts games, they just have the overall stats like strength and magic and maybe range maybe crit like frequency as well. In this, they have strength and magic as the main stats. Range is kind of plays a role, but most keyblades are the same range and it really doesn't matter nearly as much in this as it did in the first game. What's nice about keyblades in this is that every keyblade in the game has a unique ability attached to it. So there might be keyblades where it's like, well, these keyblades early on like really suck in terms of stats, but they can have really useful abilities like for the end game. So this is the Kingdom Key. This is our very first keyblade. It is way better than it is in Kingdom Hearts 1 because it just sucked in Kingdom Hearts 1. Might not be as good as it is in Chain of Memories just because it's so cheap to equip in Chain of Memories, but it's got free strength, one magic, nothing really special. That's pretty much average for the first half of the game. And it comes with the ability Damage Control. Now this is actually a change that they made to Final Mix. In the original Kingdom Hearts 2, the Kingdom Key came with the ability Defender. Defender is an ability that when your HP drops below 50%, it'll give you plus free defense. Which is not very good, especially for critical mode where defense really doesn't matter all that much. Most things are just going to kill you in two to three hits anyways. In this, however, Final Mix, they changed it to giving you the ability Damage Control, which is a similar ability, but instead of just increasing your defense by free when your HP is below 50%, it instead doubles your defense when your HP drops below 50%, which is, again, for critical mode, not all that useful, because, again, defense doesn't matter a whole lot in critical mode. However, if you're playing on an earlier difficulty, especially beginner mode, this is, like, an amazing keyblade. Like, once you reach a high enough level and your defense is super high, especially if you combine this with another damage control ability, you basically can't die. It's really nice. Uh, we, this is armor, so we used to just have... Keyblade and then re accessories. You can also have get armor in this, which is basically used to boost your defense and elemental resistances. And then we got accessories here. We got no accessories, but this mainly boosts your AP as well as your strength or defense. And sometimes armor or ability or accessories can come with abilities as well. Not always though. And these are our items. So we only have one potion right now. I'm going to press triangle to automatically reload because potions are good. And we got nothing in stock. Let's go to abilities. So now this is where we're going to see why playing on critical mode is so good. So normally right now, if you're not playing on critical mode, the only abilities you would have are aerial recovery and damage control from the weapon. In this, however, we have a huge list of abilities we can equip, and we've got 50 AP to use uh, to equip it with. And in, again, if you're not playing on critical mode, you do not have 50 AP. You probably only have like two or five. So yeah, this is really good. So we got Aerial Recovery, quickly regain balance with Circle when you get knocked down. Yep, that's really good. You can also just press Triangle to quickly equip that. Reaction Boost, a critical mode uh, exclusive ability. Well, not exclusive, but you don't worry. All the rest of these are critical mode only. Reaction Boost increases the damage dealt using reaction commands by 50%. That's really good. So in the past, our only reaction commands have really been Reversal, which is just an evasive maneuver. But there are several reaction commands that are attacks. And they can deal a lot of damage, and with this, they're going to deal way more damage. This is a good one, too. Finishing Plus. This says unleash successive finishing moves after combos. This basically allows you to do an additional finisher at the end of a combo. So in the past, we've only been able to do two hits plus a finisher. If we equip this, we'll be able to do two hits plus two finishers. And especially against bosses, that's going to be really good. So this is probably one of the biggest differences for critical mode. You get Draw, this is essentially just Treasure Magnet from the original game, draws in and it collects a nearby orbs, so this is like money, HP, MP, and others. That's nice to have, especially for upcoming uh, encounters in this game. We get two copies of the Lucky Lucky ability, which is Lucky Strike. It will make enemies drop synthesis materials more frequently. This is, this is another one of the big reasons why you play on critical mode. You can, you can grind for synthesis items way faster than you could in other modes. And then finally, MP Hastera. This... So this is plays into the role of how the MP meter is different in Kingdom Hearts 2. In Kingdom Hearts 1, if you run out of MP, you either need to use like an Aether to get more, uh, perform physical attacks to slowly build the meter up again, or find like a save point. In this, however, when you run out of MP, you go into what's called MP Recharge, 
where during MP recharge, your meter will slowly refill. You can't use magic during MP recharge, but once the meters fill, you'll get full MP again. This basically makes the MP recharge meter refill 50% faster. Really, really useful, and you don't get this if you're not playing on critical mode. So, let me just tell you, the faster your MP meter refills, the better you are. Then the final ability is no experience. So this literally just means you will not get experience points. The only reason you should ever equip this ability is if you were doing a challenge mode trying to do a level 1 play playthrough. Now, level 1 playthrough is entirely possible in Kingdom Hearts 2, and there are many people who actually really like that challenge. I don't, because all it does is just make it so you are physically weaker, can die really easily in pretty much one hit, and there are many really good abilities that you will never learn. So no, we won't be equ equipping that. Finally, customize. We've got potions set to the X button. So we can just quickly do that and without having to mess with the command menu. Anyhow. Sorry, that was a lot of information dump. I'm sorry. Anyhow, let's go for the door. Station of Kali. So we're going to fight some more dusks on our way up. Yeah, so you see I just did two finishers on this guy. And that's thanks to the finishing plus ability. And yay, he dropped another potion. So because I selected auto-reload, it now says I have two potions equipped. In Kingdom Hearts 1, we would have had to go to the menu and equip the second potion. But nope, it just fills the next empty slot. So that's really nice. Okay, this is a nasty fight. But we really want to do it because... Oh. We do really want to do this because we want to get the experience. And what's annoying is we don't have the guard command yet, so if we want to avoid the dusks, we just have to hope that we can jump over their attacks. We can also occasionally use reversals, but the, that the command doesn't always appear. Alright, but well we got through that. So hopefully we can get a level up before we reach the end of this passageway. I love the stained glass windows! It's so pretty! Also, if I can avoid using a potion here, I kind of want to avoid using a potion here. Goodbye. There should be a few more up here. Oh boy. Ah, darn it. Once you learn their attack patterns, it's pretty easy to avoid their attacks. Oh, darn it. We didn't get the level up. Oh, we can also change game settings here. Field camera auto. Yeah, I like auto. Camera, yep, with the right stick. Summon effects auto show partial summon effects. Uh, I'm going to turn that to full. We won't get a summon for a while, but eh, that, that, that'll be nice. Navigational map, yep. Vibration, yep. Kingdom Hearts 2 command. <laughs> so what this does is if you have it selected to Kingdom Hearts 2 command menu, it's like depending on the world, the command menu will like look a little different. It's literally just stylistic. Kingdom Hearts regular will just be the original blue one. And then we got critical mode. We can't change that. And now we have free potions. So that's pretty nice. Alrighty. We're coming up on our first boss fight. Unless you count Cypher. So remember how at the end of the Station of Awakening in Kingdom Hearts 1 we fought Darkseid? Well this time we're fighting the Dusk counterpart of the Dark Side. Use reaction commands and defeat the mysterious enemy. This is Twilight Thorn, the first real boss of the game, and this is kind of going to introduce you to how reaction commands can be used as attacks. So he's going to come up here. Use the reaction command key counter. And because of reaction boost to critical mode ability, that's going to deal a lot more damage than it did on normal mode. There's the Lunar Salt move, and knock him down. 
And now we just gotta wait for him, so... Goofy! <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> now we use the reaction command, break raid. So this is gonna send him flying into the ground, and now we can do some damage on him with some combos. We're gonna do air combos, and we'll need the single finisher. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Well, that could have gone better. So now we need to get out of his way, which I did not do. This part's gonna be annoying. Because now he's sending these new enemies called Creepers out of the way, and Creepers can be annoying. Had to pop a potion because his fine attack was going to kill me otherwise. Don't be afraid to pop a few potions in this fight. Especially if we're playing on critical mode. Alright, that's darn it. I kind of don't want to do all three of my potions, but. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, that's a common fight to die to. You're gonna see just how brutal critical mode is. Oh, no. Do I have to fight all these guys? Oh, I totally do. Oh, that's annoying. Meanwhile, while Roxas is going through this weird Pop Rocks fever dream, Cypher and the others are like, Roxas, what is going on? We're trying to fight these guys, but our bats aren't doing anything. Oh, sweet. We got another potion. Alright. Well, because I got an additional potion, I don't feel too bad about, uh, <laughs> I don't feel too bad about using all three in this battle. Also, in Kingdom Hearts 1, if you were playing on the original, you didn't have the ability to skip cutscenes. We do now. If you're playing on Final Mix, you do. Or at least most cutscenes. Not all. Literally, for this part of the fight, you can just mash triangle. Because there's no penalty for pressing triangle if there's no reaction command. That doesn't work for every reaction command, because there are some reaction commands where, like, if you wait it for a little bit, you'll get a better version of the reaction command. But that's not one of these. Quick! Giant or Jack! MVP of Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> nah. Also, I think they redid some of Roxas' voice clips for Final Mix. He sounds more like high pitched and enthusiastic, <laughs> and less like an angsty teen. That was not good. Why are these vines everywhere? Oh, oh shit. Oh. How do speedrunners do this? I believe we just repeat the first part of the play. Oh, maybe not. You can chain, chain the reversals together in order to reach his head. Because sometimes you can use reversal more than once in a row. Alright, well we might actually kill him with the reaction command because of how powerful they are. I was hoping that would kill him. And for some reason, like, the second time this happens, that takes way less time to load. Yeah! Maybe this will kill him? This would be great if this killed him. Yeah. 
I didn't know that that happened. <laughs> Bonk hits his head. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that was really good. <laughs> Let me hug you, Roxas. Good fight. <laughs> that could not have been a more perfect finish on Twilight Horn. Speedrunners can kill him like while he's standing on his head shooting vines at you, but I'm not that good. Mamine, save me! My love, <laughs> save me. Like the sundress. Like the flip-flops. <laughs> Roxas is like, whatever. <laughs> She's not that pretty. <laughs> Shut up, Roxas. What are you talking about? My name is Namine. Roxas. Do you remember your true name? Say no more, Namine. But if no one tells him, Roxas will... It's best he doesn't know the truth. Hey, you're that pickpocket. <laughs> well, you threw a stick at me, so... <laughs> fair is fair. <sighs> also, Namine's like half of this guy's height. I can't tell if this guy's like super tall or if Namine's just super short. Cypher, strike a pose, you know? How's this? That's totally perfect, you know? <laughs> How about one more, you know? What Did Cypher actually? Keepsake. Those freaks in the white jumpsuits are gone, you know? Cakewalk. Did Cypher actually, like, beat them up? Dang, Cypher, if he did, mad props. <laughs> what were those things? Outsiders, that's what. And if they don't wise up to the rules around here, I might have to take disciplinary measures. Oh yeah, Cypher's always looking after the town, you know? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've played this game before. Hmm. <laughs> Wait up! Hey, no chickening out of the tournament tomorrow! We'll be waiting, you know? Dude, can you say anything without ending it with, you know? Was he like that in Final Fantasy? So, you hung out with Cypher's gang today? No, I didn't. I ate a lot of Pop Rocks, met a pretty lady who froze the town. Uh, I fought a guy who tried to bear hug me and chew vines out at me. It was weird, man. <laughs> also, there was like a stained glass window of a guy who kind of looked like me and like a duck. This, it was bizarre, man. <laughs> no, it, it's not like that. Lay off the Pop Rocks. Oh yeah. How was the beach? Wasn't that today? We didn't go. It wouldn't be the same without you, right? Oh. Wait, Sorry. wait, hang on a second. So we woke up. Now Roxas probably slept until 10. Roxas strikes me as the kind of guy who would sleep until 10. Uh, he got up, immediately was like, oh yeah, let's go to the station. Uh, the town froze, he met Namine, he followed her. The dusks came, we went on the pop rock trip. Uh, got, chose the shield, got the keyblade, got a bunch of abilities. Dusks were there. <laughs> uh, beat Twilight Thorn, and then we woke up, and now it's the end of the day. How long were we passed out? <laughs> hey. Or, wow, or did Roxas tomorrow. sleep until like 3 p.m.? We could get those pretzels, and I promised I'd be somewhere. Oh. Oh. You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get them. It's a promise. <laughs> Roxas, you really gotta lay off the pop rocks if you're forgetting this much this soon. <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, camo pant boy. Oh, and camo shoes. He really likes camo. He pulls it off though. Restoration at forty-eight percent. Was that nominee made of data? No. Namine hijacked the data herself. Look what she's done now. 
She's totally beyond my control. Calm down. <laughs> Don't punch the computer, dude. It doesn't matter. As long as Nami May accomplishes her goal, we needn't worry about what befalls Roxas. Sora flies into the sun. I forgot about that. That it's definitely happened in Kingdom Hearts 1. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either. My friends are my power. So your heart won this battle. Oh yeah! Wow, it's actually including us fighting Unknown. AKA the Enigmatic Man, AKA he who does not exist. It is I. That's only a so. so. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Sora! Forget it. I did not use the Kingdom Key there. I believe I used the Lady Luck Keyblade. <laughs> Sora's like, don't worry, I'm gonna stab myself. <laughs> All of this definitely happened. Kyrie. Why is that so low res? We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Why couldn't we just reuse the original voice clip? It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry, I will. Like they reused Promise? Jan Sora's voice. Don't ever forget. Why didn't they Where reuse Arif's voice? I'm always with you. <laughs> Rox is like, alright, New Year's resolution. I'm gonna lay off the candy. <laughs> I'm not giving up ice cream, though. <laughs> That's literally the only other thing I eat. And maybe pretzels. Right. Promise. Right, I did make a promise. <laughs> What a mess. Look how enormous his hands are compared to his arms. The fourth day. Like, yeah, your hands are supposed to be wider than your arms, obviously, but his are twice as wide. That's insane. Hurry to the sandlot! You're gonna be late! <laughs> you slept until 11 today. You slept most of yesterday. I'm a teenager. What do you expect, man? <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't enough actual seats in Twilight Town. Like, nobody got benches or chairs or anything like that. Nobody brought, like, picnic blankets. No, we're just gonna stand on the roofs and watch people. Struggle. Dog street. Ugh, I'm gonna root for Cypher. <laughs> of Twilight Town, it's time for summer's most sizzling clash. That's right, today is the day for the struggle and title match. I apologize if you hear a weed whacker outside. It's like December, but people are still apparently mowing the lawn. Like, why? Who will be the one to break through the ranks and take on our champion, Setzer? Cypher! You know? Setzer is... OP. So I think Setzer is also a Final Fantasy character. I could be wrong. Setzer for me, he just seems like the kind of guy like on a weird anime show that the girls are like, oh, he's so amazing. And it's like, I'm like, uh, uh, no, not really, no. Dang, they're going all off. Those are the worst fireworks ever. Then again, they're also launching them in the daytime. It's time to introduce today's combatants. Oh, it's the guy who closed his shop because he's working this. Their way through the preliminaries. 
regular finalist and head of the Twilight Disciplinary Committee, Cypher. Wait, hang on. Is this like an actual thing? Like, we have like a disciplinary committee. We need like someone to help work for this. Or is he just like, I beat people up, but it's part of the disciplinary committee. I don't really know. You decide. Completely out of nowhere. Who knew he'd make it so far this year? Vivi. Vivi's great. And under. He's a, Vivi's one of the only Final Fantasy characters I actually recognize. I play, I did play a little bit of Final Fantasy IX, and Vivi's great. He also is just the typical Black Mage sprite from like Tactics Advance, so I like that too. Round favorite and local attitude problem. <laughs> it's his first trip to the finals. <laughs> did did all of them? choose their introductions like it's like oh yeah like cypher's like make sure you mention i'm head of the disciplinary committee it's like <laughs> hainer make sure you let people know i have an attitude problem vv make sure you let people know that i barely made it this far <laughs> and struggler number four who happens to be my absolute favorite customer roxas roxas so who will win this sweltering summer struggle roxas who will take home the grand prize? The summa cum laude of struggle, the four crystal trophy! That, that looks like a very unstable trophy. Like, I feel like if you breathe on it, it would fall apart. And a chance to take on our defending champion, Setzer! I love how he has the fangirls, like, Setzer! I suggest our challengers go over the official struggle rules before we begin. Official struggle rules, huh? Well, we'll have to do that next time on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay this time. It was mostly me just explaining the abilities and mechanics of the game. Next time should be a bit more interesting. We're going to get a little more on the story of, like, what the heck is going on here. <laughs> and also, it's struggle time! So, we've got a couple fights to do with the struggle, and you're going to see why uh, they're simultaneously a lot harder and a lot easier on critical mode. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. I'm actually going to make a second